mlango bana wote waiting for oh mm. hata wewe mtoto bana what are you doing call the police the woman is said to have poisoned her three children aged four, three, and six months respectively before attempting to take her own life. They are said to have been killed by the very woman who gave them life. Have you ever asked yourself what is the safest place for your child? Like, have you ever asked yourself, what's that one place that each and every child consider as the most safest place? The most safest place, or rather, a place that each and every child consider as the most safest place is being around their parents, is being around their guardians. Actually, the most safest place in every person knew while growing up, even me, like the most safest place I knew while growing up was being around my parents, was being around my guardians. And that's why when you happen to meet someone who was raised in children home or rather in orphanage, when you happen to meet such a person and maybe you ask them, how was your life growing up? Despite the fact that majority of them who are raised, you know, those orphanage, majority of them were even raised better compared to some people who are raised by both parents. But when you happen to meet such a person and ask them, how was your life growing up? Believe me, like, the very first thing they'll tell you is that I was a no fan at a very young age. Like, they'll tell you I was raised in orphanage. This is because the most safest place each and every person know while growing up is being around their parents, is being around their guardians. You know, after watching that video of that lady who stabbed her own child to death, um, honestly, I even don't want to remember it because I, I still kind of feel those crying of that baby. After watching that video of this lady stabbing her own child to death, honestly, I felt so sad. Like, I felt so bad. I felt so sad. Like, the only safest place that child knew like the only, the only safest place that child knew was being around that woman, was being around that lady, was being around her mom. That was the only safest place that child knew. After watching that video of a lady, or rather, after watching those news, Zili Hapen Kitambo, of that lady who killed her two children, I felt so sad because the only safest place that those children knew was, was being around their parents, was being around their mom. Have you ever asked yourself why, why some children, some girls, nowadays not girls, like it's both gender, why children nowadays are getting raped by their uncles, their aunties, their cousins, their, why our children are getting raped and then when they are told not to say, they just say not to say. Like, have you ever asked yourself, why will a child be raped by her own dad? Not once, not twice, not thrice. And then they just decide to keep quiet. They don't even open up to anyone. Have you ever asked yourself, why is this happening? This is because the only safest place those children knew is being around their parents, is being around their guardians. The same, same people who are violating their rights are the same, same people those children consider as their safest place. Look at what's happening to the safest place for our children. Like the safest place for our children is turning out to be something else. All in the name of depression, in the name of separation, in the name of some people can't control their bodies. Like what's happening to the safest place for our children? And you know what is the saddest thing? The saddest thing is that 
the only safe place our children, the only place our children will continue to know as their safest place is being around us. It's being around their guidance. Like no matter what you are doing to them, like the only safest place our children will continue to know is being around their guardians. It's being around their parents. And honestly, it's sad. It's sad. Honestly, it's sad. And I keep on asking myself, why are these things happening, Kitambo? Like, I don't know. You know, some people are judging on Asema team. Oh, Nisikuza Mwisho. Some people are saying that, oh, what were mengia kwa cult. Some people are saying that people, this generation is cult. Others are saying that, oh, people are, are like, work on a depression. And I keep on asking myself, is, is depression something new? Like, is depression a new disease? Like, was it not there, Kitambo? Like, what's really happening? Honestly, it's sad. And I don't know, I don't know what should, people should do. Like, I don't know, honestly, I don't know. But it's sad that our children, our children will still continue knowing that being around us is the only safest place. Like, I don't know if you have ever beaten your child. Siju kama usha ichapa mtoto wako. And then immediately after ume mchapa, after meanza kulia, he or she kama, kama anakuja kwa kwa anakuhag while crying. Like, wendo ume mchapa, but still anakuja umshike ya kilia. This is because that's the, that's the only safest place our children know. Like the only safest, no matter what we do to them, the only safest place our children know is being around their guardians, is being around their parents. But the same, same safest place that they think their safest place, the same, same place is turning out to be something else. Honestly, it's so sad and... I don't know what people should do. I don't want to say it's because of depression, because uh, depression in Mekwapo kutoka kitambo. You can't say that size ndo watu wa meanza kukonje kanda depression na inawafanya watu uwe watoto wao sababu. I don't know honestly, because maybe watu wa medicine can tell us, was depression not there before? Ama depression ya kitambo ilikuwa inonyesha watu to do something different and for nowadays depression ya squeeze inambia watu uwe watoto wao and to do some weird stuff. Like for those people who are raping their own children, like you can't tell me that feeling that is a kwapo kutoka kitambo. But what, what was happening, what was kitambo, like you can't tell me at nowadays what was machine could you control. What's happening, honestly? Honestly, it's sad, and I feel so sad. I feel so sorry for... I feel so sad for our children. Because they will continue knowing us as their safest place. And I just pray that things will change, honestly. And I think that's that for today. And please continue subscribing, continue liking, continue commenting. And until next time, guys, bye-bye. Peace -bye. out.